so now we are going to do what we just did, where we did a co-contraction between the transversus abdominis and the pelvic floor muscles, but we're just gonna make it a little bit more challenging with some arm movements. So in the clinic, when I'm doing this with patients, I usually have them hold a weighted ball or a dumbbell. If you're doing this in your home, you can use any item that has a little bit of weight to it. It doesn't have to be very specific. The, the weight that I typically use in the clinic is two pounds. You can use a water bottle, a bag of potatoes, anything that you have in your home that has a little bit of weight. So I'm gonna have Rachel hold on to this hair product. Okay, so Rachel, what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna do what we just did, but when you inhale, you're gonna bring the bottle over your head. Mm -hmm. And as you exhale, bringing the bottle back down and you're tightening your core and your pelvic floor at the same time. So we're tightening only on the exhalation, not on the inhalation. Okay, so go ahead and breathe in. Bottle goes up, exhale, tighten belly, pelvic floor, bring it down just a little bit slower. So the exhale should always be a second or two longer than the inhale. So let's try 10 of those. Go ahead and lift up. Slow and controlled. Perfect, great pace. That's one. We're gonna do nine more. Two, and again, if you look at Rachel, you can keep going. If you look at her spine, it's staying neutral. She's not tilting, she's not moving, she's not squeezing her butt cheeks together. That's three. Slow and controlled, beautiful. That's four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Ten. Perfect. 